Hi, John Knox family. Um, Peter Sloat coming to you here from Oberlin Conservatory. It's kind of quiet here, but it's a good place to do some work and maybe record some things for you folks. This week was going to be my concert at the church on Friday, music of Bach, composed 300 years ago. And that's not going to happen now, but I thought I'd bring you a little bit of a, a snippet from it, um, from Bach's cello suite number one. It's spring outside, and I've been uh, keeping busy doing some yard work. Uh, it's nice to have a project to do that gives me some sense of purpose in these days. And I've been enjoying seeing the daffodils and the, and the crocuses and all the flowers coming up. And uh, I thought I'd play something for you which is kind of springy. Every suite of Bach, and he wrote six cello suites, every suite has its own affect or um, idea, general feeling. The first suite is the most spring-like of them. It starts with a beautiful prelude. Of... And every movement, even including the cerebon, the slow on. Every movement is just beautiful and calm and open and spring-like. I'd like to play for you the Allemande, which is the second movement of the suite. To me, it's a good piece to hear in these times. It is happy, it's calm, it kind of meanders a little bit. It goes around and around, up and down, and it's just kind of like our minds during these times. So enjoy this gift of the Allemande from the Bach first cello suite. Uh, Bach wrote these 300 years ago in 1720, and uh, he signed almost every composition, Soli Deo Gloria, only to the glory of God. So, to the glory of God and to your ears, stay happy, healthy, and productive. The Allemand from the Bach First Cello Suite. <laughs>